in the seventh topic we need to solve absolute value inequalities now this is not a difficult topic at all it's an easy one but it's a lengthy topic it takes a lot of time to solve this particular one how can you do it simpler or easier now i'll tell you the normal way which we have studied throughout the term in the regular classes where we basically graph this up so graphing is done by table you assume x values and find the y values plot the points and you will get the answer uh, you will get the graph and then you can see it's less than or equal to zero. That means it's this region. So this is the solution region. You'll find the answer. Now, this was done in the regular classes. But over here, since it is in part one, that is first 20 questions are in MCQs and computer, you can easily solve them by tricks. So I will tell you an easy trick to solve these. Look, you will have four options. There'll be four graphs or there'll be four solution sets. Now, how would you solve this? You can directly start by putting in the calculator. See, now this symbol over here, it's better you clear your calculator if you, uh, regularly. Now, you can just put the symbol, that is the absolute value symbol, by pressing Shift and ABS if you press this. Now, you're getting this symbol. Now, all you need to do is type the equation as it is, all the left-hand side. 2x that is over here minus 6 x is by alpha and this symbol over here will give you x unknown variable minus 4 that's it now press shift oh, sorry i need to press equal to 0 i have to write the entire equation just that ignore the inequality make it equal to anyway even over here just ignore the inequality and make it equal to now press shift and solve it will solve for the variable after pressing shift and solve you need to press equal to you will get the answer now the thing about this is you will just get one answer you won't get both the answers so one of the answer is one okay so now this will help you a lot because you will have four options at least you will eliminate one or two options in that so you will have one as one of the correct answer then there will be one more answer so what will you do then so all you need to do is you can just substitute this value back over here and you should solve the equation now what i mean by that is now imagine over here i put this as multiply by phi minus six minus four this must be equal to zero similarly if i solve for one if i do this over here one because the absolute value is there i must get zero so now only two of your correct answers will give you this this particular it'll solve you and whatever it is there in the right hand side will be the answer so this is how you can check your answers now so you can easily understand where the graphs are this two would be the graph points it's 1 and 5 so this is the correct answer now what about these inequalities now you might have remembered whenever this less than or equal to symbol comes now if you have an absolute value and then you have less than or equal to the x will be within the two values now you got how much 1 and 5 write it in ascending order and x will be greater than 1 but will be less than phi or since over here less than or equal to is there you must mention these signs imagine it was just over here less than then it would be less than and less than now what about this over here greater than let's solve that problem now same way over here it should be 2 alpha x minus 1 and solve it up uh, sorry equal to 4 now when you solve it equal to 4 sorry shift and solve press equal to you'll get 5 by 2 or 2.5 see one of the answer is obtained so now check for the other option options which have 2.5 because we know 2.5 is correct answer substitute instead of x remove this equal to whatever it is over here in one of the side only okay you must get the right hand side so instead of x just put the value see one option will have 5.2 is 5 by 2 is correct let's try this 
minus 3 by 2. Close the bracket. And now, if you press equal, to, you will get the right side over here. It's 4. But let me just change this. I'll put it as 1. See, now I'm getting 2. It's wrong. The right side was 4. Last time it was 0, we got 0. Now it's supposed to be 4 over here. When you put the two correct values, you'll get the answer 4. No other values will give you correct. So now the answer over here, we understood the two x values are minus 3 by 2, that is 1.5, minus 3 by 2, and 2.5, that is 2 by 5. Okay, what now? Now, since these two values, see it's greater than, you can't write like this this would be wrong because when it's less than we use the symbol see this is out it will be within the range now the solution region is outside because it's greater than see this is the graph it's greater that means outside less than would be within it's not within it's out outside you know so now all you need to remember is in such cases there will be two answers which is the smaller value over here? Negative 1.5 is less, right? So x will be less than or equal to that. That means this is the uh, smaller value. It will be less than or equal to, whereas it will be greater than or equal to the bigger value. That is 2.5. So this will be the solution. That is how we write the solution. It will not change. We can try some other problems as well. Let's just look at the answers. Over here, you can see it's less than, only less than. So it will be within this. So this is the solution region. Okay, this would be the answer. The x values, I hope you understood just now whatever we did, that's how we solve it. If you're getting confused, pause the video, rewind it and listen to it again, you'll understand it. But now look over here, it's greater than or equal to. You will have two answers, which is small. Negative 8 by 3 is smaller than 4 by 3. So what do you do? x will be less than or equal to negative 8 by 3 whereas x will be greater than 4 by 3 so this is how we could solve over here they have asked you to use graphing calculator but you do not have it if you don't have also because you you guys will not be using graphing calculator generally no worries what you can do is you can just follow whatever method i told and you can easily solve it now let me show you one thing over here let me let me try solving this one it's 2 divided by 5 and then shift and absolute alpha x minus 5 i need to multiply over here plus 1 if i press shift and solve over here it'll take some time it'll give you a math error or it tells you can't solve because there are no real numbers there's no solution when this is the case then you must know there is no solution for this particular graph because it'll never touch the x-axis similarly let's do this one over here in the left hand side just to show you now over here this part is gone so we have 1 by 4 is 0 0.25 so i'll just write it as 0 0.25 or you can write it as 1 by 4 plus 4 minus 1 over here. Now when I, I need to press equal to 0, shift and solve, I'll get one of the answers. Whereas over here, I did not get any answer. See, I will show, I think so, I have not put the, uh, you know, equal to zero. Sorry for that. But I'll just do it again by putting the values. So I will just do this again. I'm sorry. Um, because I do not remember whether I put this equal to or no. So it is shift and absolute alpha x minus phi plus one. Just make sure you write it as it is. But wherever equal to's are they, equal to symbol is they just don't solve it now press shift and solve it'll take time and yes it shows it can't solve so whenever you get this can't solve provided you have written the equation properly double check the equation if you have made a mistake then again it might come can't solve but that is a problem that is an error but make sure you write it properly and then wherever inequality is they just put the equal to sign and press shift and solve 
and then equal to you will get the answer in this case it's not possible to be solved in other cases it'll give you at least one of the answer and then you can easily find the other answer as explained before if you find this method confusing you can stick to the normal method the regular method where you basically have to do a table graphs uh, i mean table with different points x and y and then graph it and then find the solution it's up to you but this is much more quicker i feel and simpler because you will be given the uh, other options the uh, mcqs